first question is about uh, connections to the starting block community. And, um, and it's an interesting one be for me because um, I feel like I have so many. Um, it feels like a, a tree um, or a grove in the forest of my life. I mean, it's intertwined in so many ways to uh, who I am today, um, how I am, um, where I look for learning and growth. Um, whether it's recommending it as a trusted resource and avenue for people who are looking to, to, uh, to connect or to find um, a way to energize and, and root their, their, um, their sense of purpose and their impact in the world. Um, you know, friends who have gone on to uh, be fellows and then parts of the, you know, and then, you know, parts of institutes. Um, I um, I've volunteered for institutes. I facilitated at institutes. Um, but I think you know more than anything, it's that um, starting block fellows have really informed um, so much of who I'm uh, proud to be today. You know, beyond that which came from my mom as a foundation, and that which came from um, you know uh, other foundational communities. Um, Starting block has just been at the roots of what I get to, of who I get to be, and who and how I get to be on a daily basis. Um, I haven't, I mean, besides what I've done with starting block, I haven't worked with other um, nonprofit organizations. Um, that might be totally untrue. Um, I feel like I've worked so many places and spaces um, that it's possible that that's <laughs> that that's untrue but not in um, not in a formal capacity not in the you know um, the capacity that I see so many fellows do um, I think I've worked in a lot of organic capacities with a lot of different organizations and some of them have been nonprofit um, so um, I would say that you know anything that I've learned um, from those experiences is that, um, honestly, that we're, we're all seeking to do the best that we can and that every structure for us getting to where we uh, want to go to create the world that works for all of us, that's by all of us, you know, like that, that we all have limits on our models and that like increasingly the breadth and the depth of the experiences that I've had in my life continue to show me that working together, finding ways to bridge difference, to find commonality um, are, are like the most important bits because so many of us have excellence that we've grown in our own spaces and places um, but that are missing just the nutrients and the resilience of other environments, of other cultures, of other norms. Um, and, um, and that's something that I'm passionate about both exploring more in and also about um, growing. And about, you know, like it's what I see as possible as the future of our, of our um, society is to take that connection that we've heretofore never had across the globe, across time, space, generation, and to turn it into, you know, greater than the sum of its parts. And the sum of it, and its parts are pretty amazing. Humanity's pretty freaking fantastic. Um, but there's so much more um, to be created in like a rooted win-win set of scenarios, you know. So, um, and I think uh, that speaks to the, to the strengths and how I hope to grow. Um, seeing what's not being said, bringing my whole heart to the table. Um, I hope to grow in my roots here in Portland. One of the things you may not realize is, um, you know, I was sitting earlier today in 28 degree weather in my van wondering how I was going to necessarily record this video. You know, um, a lot of root growing and compassion growing, um, living mobily, living in this space. Um, foraging out on my own and, and seeing what's possible. Um, thank you so much for everything.